so the reality is that in the last 30 years, um, research on working with trauma generally has has grown. And, um, you know, one very famous psychologist who's really pioneered all the studies on trauma and PTSD is a man named Dr. Bessel van der Kolk, who wrote a very famous book called um, The Body Keeps the Score. And so one of the things that he shows uh, very well um, is why somatic therapy is superior to talk therapy for any kind of religious trauma. So I would say talk therapy is something that people with religious backgrounds kind of grow up, you know, doing. They all practice a form of cognitive behavioral therapy. They all learn how to talk to themselves and um, say the right things to ourselves and tell ourselves things that we feel are positive because a central issue in religious trauma is, is witnessing or authenticity. So what's important is that I always look appropriate. I always look um, <clears throat> like a happy person to others because I'm witnessing for the religion. Yeah. So it's not important that I am authentically happy. What's important is that I look happy. Present. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I present well. So, um, and so the problem with this is there's a deep repression or suppression of our real authentic emotional experiences and so we often don't know what we really feel or we often feel frightened to trust in what we feel now working through the mind through the brain through talk therapy just takes us right back to that place of positive thinking presenting well um, and what's really required for religious trauma is a deeper kind of a work right so because talk therapy just seems to be like this end endless exploration of personal history that often leads to amplifying the pain and reliving traumatic experiences over and over through telling the stories over and over. And a lot of uh, recent neuroscience research um, continues to really suggest that the old style of psychodynamic talk therapy and exposure therapies really can be re-traumatizing and reinforce a lot of the negative beliefs that one holds about oneself. So um, what we have found to be very effective is somatic therapy. Somatic therapy is a type of therapy that works more through the body and directly with the emotions. And this is a way that we work in order to help the client to observe themselves in a new way, a more objective way that's curious and compassionate, and also to begin to work to find acceptance for their body, for their emotions. And the real key to recovering from religious trauma is first beginning to find a sense of safety and a sense of acceptance for one's own emotional experiences inside. 